Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come up with a very special problem and on the very special occasion also. So guys, we have completed uh, 5 weeks with uh, 600 plus subscribers. To be exact, it is uh, 629 at present. So I am very happy and uh, very thankful to all of you who has been uh, supporting me and uh, I'm really really happy. I don't have words. I never expected this. So I thought ki I'll be presenting you with a original problem. You know, this problem is framed by me and uh, it's a very nice problem. Involves uh, multiple uh, concepts in the single problem. And uh, name of this is uh, a rotation of infinite plates and it's a polyconceptual problem. This is the diagram of this uh, problem here as you can see. So let's discuss the statement of uh, this particular problem and then we are going to discuss the related concepts and we'll be solving it. So here it is. There is a system of infinite very thin uniform plates having a uniform surface mass density of K0. The plates are in the shape of equilateral triangles and are rigidly pasted on each other as shown as per the symmetry of all triangles. So meaning of this is centroid of all triangles is at uh, uh, same location you can say basically they are symmetrically connected so here if it is uh, l the next side length is l by 2 it is joined at midpoint here all of them are equilateral triangles so that symmetry is uh, maintained in this case all right so this system is a uh, system of plate is going till infinity now, the system of plates is placed on a smooth horizontal surface. If force F0 is acting at a point A on the system of plates, then what will be the acceleration of point B at the initial instant of motion? Write your answer in vector form. So this is the point A along X direction, this, uh, this force I'm applying and gravity is into the plane here. All right, so it is placed on a smooth horizontal surface. Let's discuss the concept part of uh, this particular problem. So it is based on basically a rigid body which is uh, free to move and when we are applying a force which is not passing through the center of mass then we know in that situation center of mass will be getting acceleration of f by m and uh, at the same time since uh, this force is not passing through the center of mass it is going to provide a torque which will bring angular acceleration in the rigid body so this body is uh, having it is translating with acm and it is rotating with the alpha so if somehow we can find out this acm and alpha value we can uh, calculate the acceleration of any point on this uh, rigid body so this question is based on this particular concept and uh, this particular problem is actually combination of many small small problems so here multiple concepts like calculation of mass of the system that itself is a you know uh, itself is a small question in, uh, of the of this problem right so they can ask in uh, je mains type of exam mass of the uh, such type of system second question can be moment of inertia of the system that itself is a separate question i have combined everything and uh, then another part is uh, translation and rotation superposition to find the acceleration in combined motion so these many concepts are included in one single problem so let's uh, further move ahead and discuss this part. So as I have written earlier also, this ACM directly I can write as F0 by M. The net force acting on this system is F0. So center of mass is going to get acceleration of ACM. And if I take torque about center of mass, so this distance is actually 2 by 3 of L sin 60. Okay, median is going to divide this into 2 is to 1 ratio. So I can write 2 by 3 times this total length, which is L sin 60. So that is what I have written here. So I'm going to get F0 times L by root 3 uh, is equal to ICM into alpha. Now the task is to calculate the total mass of this plate and uh, plate system and uh, total, ma uh, total moment of inertia of this system. If we can find out these two values, then easily we can find out the acceleration of this particular point. Okay, so let's uh, calculate the mass of this uh, system of plates. Since surface mass density is uniform for all plates, so simply I can say mass of first plate is uh, 
k naught times area of it then similarly for next one k naught times area of 2 and similarly i can do for all the plates and since all the plates are equilateral triangle and we know the area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 times side length square so i can substitute these values here and you can see i can take k naught common and this root 3 by 4 factor also is going to be common in all then rest of the terms are going to be l square then for next one uh, side length is l by 2 so l square plus l by 2 whole square plus l by 4 whole square and a very nice gp is going to come and it is infinite gp so if we apply the sum of infinite gp i am going to get this uh, mass of the plate as k naught l square by root 3 so i have calculated this total mass so acceleration of center of mass is known to me now all right now let's do the calculation of uh, moment of inertia so there is an equilateral triangle okay and about this axis which is perpendicular to the plane of it i am trying to calculate the moment of inertia here i am going to use the same trick which i have discussed in my previous videos to calculate the moment of inertia of a triangular plate so I'm going to use that logic. I'm going to place m by 3, m by 3, m by 3 masses at the midpoint of each side. And directly then I can treat this as a particle system. So I can write 3 times moment of inertia of one particle. So if I simplify, I'm going to get mx square where x is this distance. 3, 3 factor is going to get cancelled. And this x value is L by 2 root 3 for an equilateral triangle. Okay, I have given the link. Uh, in the description of uh, that moment of inertia problem the trick so those who are not aware of it please uh, you can uh, go through it it's a very nice trick and i'm sure you'll enjoy it okay all right so from here i can uh, get if there is a triangular plate equilateral triangular plate having mass of m length of l then its moment of inertia about this axis is going to be ml square by 12 so total moment of inertia similarly i can write here that is going to be uh, moment of inertia of plate one for plate two for plate three and we'll keep adding till infinity so m1 l1 square by 12 plus m2 l2 square by 12 and you keep doing it you'll get you'll be getting total moment of inertia of this system and here we know mass of each plate i can write k naught times area of that particular plate all right so when i substitute these values and simplify i am going to get another infinite series and uh, i can again write a by 1 minus r in order to calculate infinite gp uh, sum of infinite gp when i do that finally when i do the calculations i am going to get uh, this as moment of inertia of this system so you can see these uh, calculation of mass and this calculation of moment of inertia itself are uh, you know a separate question i have included in that so those who are preparing for j mains they can uh, you know uh, this can be a potential potential uh, candidate one part of this particular problem uh, they may ask you if not same maybe for some other body but idea remains the same so now we have uh, total mass and we have moment of inertia also so this is the time when we can calculate this acceleration of center of mass so acm is simply f naught by m when i substitute the value i am going to get the acm value which is root 3 f naught by kl square similarly for angular acceleration i'll be using the torque equation f naught times l by root 3 that is equal to icm alpha we have already discussed how exactly this uh, 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 equation I was getting so if I substitute the value of uh, moment of inertia I'm going to get this on simplification I'm going to get this alpha as 15 f naught by k naught l cube so ACM is also known to you and alpha is also known to you now we are going to do the calculation for acceleration of point B so you can see here this rigid body this system of plate is moving with the acceleration of acm right side and it is having angular acceleration of alpha also okay so due to translation this point will be moving in right side direction with the acm and due to rotation this point is going to have acceleration of uh, 
x alpha where x i'm using this distance which is actually l by root 3 so i can write this acceleration component is going to be l by root 3 alpha now it's a vector sum i have to write then i'll get the answer for it so let's resolve the component of uh, x and y so when i resolve the component in x direction for point b it is acm this side and component of this in x direction it is going to be l by root 3 alpha cos 60. so when i simplify this after substituting the value of acm and alpha i am going to get uh, this component as 3 root 3 f naught by 2 k naught l square this negative sign indicates that it is not in right side direction it is actually in left side direction towards the negative x-axis all right similarly i can do the calculation for acceleration of point b in y direction which is going to be which is going to be l by root 3 alpha sine 60 again i'm going to substitute the value of this alpha then i'll be getting acceleration of uh, point b in y direction so this is the component it is in uh, minus y direction and this component came in minus x direction so when i combine these two i can write this acceleration of point b is minus through 3 root 3 f naught by 2 k l square times i cap minus 15 f naught by 2 k naught l square and it is in the direction of minus j cap so this is going to be the answer for this uh, problem it's a very beautiful and uh, very nice problem so i hope you have uh, enjoyed this and you have learned these uh, concepts and how to apply them that is the most important part of it all right so if you have enjoyed this problem please give a like and uh, share this problem uh, with other uh, friends and uh, if you are a teacher share with other teachers also and please leave a comment your comments are very very valuable and it uh, motivates me to you know do such type of work where i can uh, bring more uh, amazing problems of physics and i'll keep doing that and shall you then uh, thank you thank you very much